Hey guys, Mal here, and today we're going to take a look at the HBHF sensors. Now I know that I recently did a video covering them, but I've seen people complaining that they are useless because they don't pass power through and instead only output one power. With that in mind, I wanted to make this video because they are far from useless, and contrary to what I've been seeing, you absolutely can use them to operate multiple things such as doors, lights, alarms, etc. Most people seem to be getting caught in the trap of thinking that the sensor needs to power components that are going to be set off, which is wrong. The sensor is not a power source, it is a trigger. Let's take a look at how we do this. Now for the sake of keeping things simple and easy to explain, I'm going to use splitters. Electric branches are more power efficient, but things will get more complicated if we start using them. So for simplicity, and to help explain this, I'll use splitters. First, we're going to connect our power source to the splitter. Next, we run power out from the splitter to the sensor, then to the power in on our memory cell, and lastly to the reset on the memory cell. Now take the power out from the sensor and run it to set on the memory cell. Connect the output from the memory cell to the power in on another splitter. And then to finish it off, run the power out on that splitter to anything that you want to trigger, like doors, lights, alarms, etc. Now if we go in range of the sensor, it triggers multiple components, and then when we are out of range, they reset. This works because we're only using the one power output from the sensor to set the memory cell, and everything else is powered from a different line of power. This, as far as I'm aware, is the intended use for the sensor. It's a trigger, not a pass-through. Before we finish up, I should mention that you'll only need this if you want to trigger multiple components. If you're just wanting it to operate one thing, such as a broadcaster, then you can just run the sensor directly to it. Hopefully this helps people understand the sensor a little better. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment or jump in my Discord and we can chat there about it. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.